Uh, I've never seen it this slick of ice on on everything. I've seen more ice on everything, but I've never seen it this slick. I've got the Gator in four-wheel drive, and it still will barely go. I know it won't stop. I'm gonna give the cows some cubes first, otherwise they're just gonna trample me as I try to get them hay. Uh, also give me a chance to count them. Calving season should have started two days ago. I hadn't had any yet, so I need to get a good count of them. Make sure I don't have any new calves in this terrible weather. All here and no new babies in this field, but we got two more fields to, to check. Got to feed the bulls some grain first. Folks, you have no idea how slick it is out here this morning. Hole in the ice there. We've had like uh, 10 days of exceptional cold, a lot of them under zero. It warmed up during the night and it has stayed open since I chopped ice there yesterday morning. So the cows have plenty of water. All the cows are at this place too. No new babies. Okay, there should be enough water in the ditches and on top of uh, the ice here that the cattle have enough water to drink. I don't think I can walk up that pond bank to chop the ice. down here. So we're two days past the first due date from when I turned the bulls in. I'm kind of glad they didn't calve last night in this ice, but uh, they should start full-fledged here in a little while. I fed cubes. Uh, it's quit raining now. Uh, it's still very, very slick out there, but I'm going to try to get the little tractor started and unroll a couple of bales of hay. It's 32 degrees, so the ice is beginning to melt. It's becoming a little easier to get around on. The asphalt is still slick, but it's okay where there's grass and dirt at. Today we got to do something a little bit different. The net wrap is frozen to the bale, so cutting it off with my knife is not an option. I've got to chop it off or chop a, a line in it and then start unrolling. But those of you worried about the cows eating the net wrap, I've been doing this for 30 years. They've never eaten the net wrap. And the first warm day, when it thaws out, I'll come back and collect the net wrap. I'm just going to unroll half of this bale and then take the other half up to the north pasture because they, they left quite a bit of hay from yesterday, so they're not that hungry.
going to unroll most of this bale out on the ground, but I'm going to put the remainder down there in the uh, round bale feeder just so they'll have some dry hay if, if it were to start raining again. Well, I don't know which is tougher, feeding cattle zero outside or it's 30 degrees and you're in the midst of an ice storm. Either way though, that's why we love farming. That's why we love taking care of cattle. We got them fed for another day, so let's call it a day. <laughs>